The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same I'm, fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Yes, sir. Hi! (laughs) Wow. Really? That excited, huh? Scotty, I'm begging you to stop doing whatever the fuck it is you're doing. <laughs> you only got three more weeks of this shit. <laughs> fucking, that's three too many as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Don't think I won't fucking walk. I know. Right, right here, right now. I can make this. I got fuck you money. I can, I can quit this show and not even bat an eye, all right? I'll yeah. be fine. I think it's like four weeks, but that's okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just added another one to it. <sighs> You son of a bitch. Hey, hey, can I quit too? <laughs> do whatever you want. I don't give a shit. I'm leaving. Oh, man. Uh, but also, he is another excellent stand-up comedian. He's the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. None other but the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. There you go, buddy. Yeah, that's enough of that shit. Yeah, okay, fine. I'm going to build a Lego model of a knife and stab you with it. Okay. I don't know how bad that would hurt. (laughs) I mean, I've stepped on them. Could you imagine getting stabbed with one? Oh, yeah. Just the corner of a block? You're going to find out. Okay. I'm I'm excited. Yeah, you Mm -hmm. fucked around, Scotty. Now you're going to find out. That's right. right. Exactly. Uh, But anyways, guys, we have an excellent show this week. A lot of stuff happened over the week. uh, But, uh, yeah, we'll get to it, and we'll talk about it. Have a good time. Uh, For those of you guys that this is the first time you've ever listened to one of these episodes, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and uh, inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and that's fine. Uh, This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, uh, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. We got uh, real shit, horse shit, bad advice with Jeremy again is back. Uh, we got overrated, underrated questions, preguntas, a what's in the well, what's in the box, but it's what's in the bag. Actually, I think it's what's in the sack. <laughs> what's in the sack? Yeah, I like that better. Uh, then we have to have a draft, as always, a shitty situation to wrap up the show. But before we get to that, guys, let's talk about what happened to us over the last week. Can uh, I make a suggestion? Yes, you may. God, for the You please. have the floor, Jeremy. Yes. When I leave, I think whoever replaces me, you should get a woman, and you can have what's in your box. <laughs> mm, okay. I like that. Maybe she's really stretchy. I, I don't... I don't know. I don't care. I don't know who this is. Okay. It's Elastapus. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Good old Elastapus. They, they left that out of the Incredibles, didn't they? Yeah. Elastapus? I yeah. think they did. <laughs> Mr. Incredible can't touch the fucking walls of that bitch. I mean, what, wasn't that the wife's name? Oh, yes. Elastigirl? Elastigirl. Elastigirl. Yeah. 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 It was you you got to think that that applies to her puss, doesn't it? It, it was yeah. going to be Elastapus, but then they're like, ah, we got to throw a G rating on it. She mm-hmm. was voiced by uh, Holly Hunter, so may, she ain't doing nothing. The the closer's been over for years. Yeah, <laughs> and the and the the actual character is hotter than the person that ha- does her voice. Isn't that possible? Could that be possible? I'd rather fuck the cartoon character than the actual person hey, that does the voice. Jesus Christ, talking. have you met Jessica Rabbit? For fuck's sake. <laughs> You're talking about my Very Disney possible. character. Touche. I give you that. Uh, but yeah, uh, have you met Olive Oil? Jesus. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, that's one that's hot the, stick. That's the <laughs> ugliest <laughs> cartoon ever. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's talk about our week. We call it our week, week recap. Derek, how you been, buddy? 
uh, dying. Yeah, I know, buddy. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. You sent me a fucking like audio text message of you fucking breathing, and I'm just uh-huh. like, oh my God, he's dying. My chest <laughs> that sounded. That seems pervy. <laughs> my chest sounded haunted. I've never had that happen before. It literally sounded like there were thousands of demons screaming in my chest. <laughs> You've never had that happen? No. You've never had a haunted chest? No. no and, wow. I am, and I'm fucking warlock. Yeah. That's yeah. True. True. Never well, that's one. probably you can you can ward off evil spirits. Well, Normally, that, you're, sure, you're waning in powers, dude. He did I it. Sure as fuck couldn't this week. It was so bad. He just like sent it to me, and it's just him taking a breath in and just. <sighs> and it's like, <sighs> yeah, you can hear it. It's like, <sighs> but I'm not actually doing anything with my vocals. No. It's all congestion. I'm like, bro, don't do you, get rid of that. <laughs> oh, it was the worst. Do you need me to bring, bring you something? He's like, no, <laughs> I'm, I'd rather die in peace. I missed the whole week of work minus one day. Yeah. Uh, oddly midweek Sunday. No, oh. no, I missed, I missed, uh, I went to work on Wednesday, <laughs> called in sick Monday, called in sick Tuesday, went to the doctor Tuesday. They're like, man, just keep doing what you're doing. I was like, cause I tried to get in to see my doctor. Did you mean like, not going to work? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. No yeah. problem. <laughs> Got it. I called in to see my doctor. They're like, oh, she's actually out today. Um, if you like, uh, we can get you with this one. I'm like, okay. So I go in and I'm taking, I've been taking Tylenol severe cold and flu. Mm-hmm. And on the bottle, it says, if you take this for more than three days, go to a physician. Right. <laughs> and so I had taken it uh, late Saturday night, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Uh-huh. I went to a physician and the lady's like, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. All they really wanted to do was just test me for flu and COVID. And they're like, neither one of those, nah, send him on his way. So I went home and drank my second bottle of Tylenol sore throat. <laughs> hmm. Or sorry, severe cold and flu. It used to be called sore throat. Right. Um, and then f- Friday, finally, I was like, fuck this. So I called and I was like, I'm going to see if I can get to see my doctor now. So I called again and they're like, she's actually out today. And I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'll just go to urgent care. So they gave me a steroid shot. So now I can't play professional baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Which Which really shot. That was so my you, career. You don't even have the same rights and privileges as a dog. No. <laughs> now, yeah. they, they suck at it. Yeah. Don't I mean, wrong. I mean, I'm no wolf, but. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Absolutely not. So I'm not allowed to play Major League Baseball. Damn. Uh, I sat at home and just felt like ass and watched a ton of Netflix. They gave me a chest x-ray at the doctor. Did they you wanted, find anything? Uh, they said it was unremarkable. <laughs> which fuck those people <laughs> right like i'm like okay well that i mean maybe that's a good thing i guess that's like testing negative for aids it's like well i don't know if that's i mean i'm what pretty these fucking people want from you <laughs> in a pretty positive mood if i test negative i think you need to flip that around but what if, what yeah. if they were just like magnificent <laughs> yeah unremarkable is what i got and the doctor was hot which was really just dis- disappointing yeah. it's like it may not sound like that's a big deal, but like if you send a girl a dick pic uh-huh. and the f- all that she sends back is, well, that was unremarkable. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is that is the last dick pic you will ever send. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so my X-ray was very unremarkable. Okay. And then I watched uh, a couple of things. I watched. Uh, I blame and- the X-ray machine on that. <laughs> I, honestly, I, well, it was loading like a uh, fucking nineteen ninety six picture that you were downloading. From <laughs> okay, AOL. yeah, you could see it. Just it was a Polaroid. <laughs> I had to pull it out. And <laughs> yeah, shake it. <laughs> your, check, your chest x-rays is like the bullpen catcher. <laughs> like, yeah. like, you suck. <laughs> like, my, my chest x-ray, my parents weren't mad at it. They were just disappointed. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> they, they had a, they, it, was a, it was so old, they had somebody hold their, the fucking flash with the powder in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just took the lid off the shutter. Yeah. Just uh, fucking unremarkable. That's mm-hmm. great. But So I watched uh, Red Notice on Netflix. Uh, which wasn't bad. It took me a long time to get to it, but it wasn't bad. And then I watched. Uh, I think that's the called... Gosling joint, right? No, no Ryan Gosling. No, Ryan the Reynolds. Rock and Ryan. That's the Rock and uh, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Okay. What's the Ryan Gosling one? Drive. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I suppose <laughs> that's the, the only thing I know the that he notebook, was in. Notebook. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he's on something on Netflix. One of those. He plays great. quarterback for the Lions. Yeah, Jerry Goffel. Oh, but, uh, he's not Goff anymore. He was in Remember the Titans. I know that. Yeah, he sure shit was. Jared Goff or? Yeah, Jared, Jared Goff. Yep. yep. As uh, Ryan Gosling. As Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> and then I watched, uh, I think it's called Home Team or Home with. Uh, oh, I've heard about that. With uh, 
Kevin James, who plays Sean Payton. Because, you know, every time I watch a Saints game back in the day, I was like, God, that guy looks just like Kevin James. <laughs> I mean, fucking uncanny. He could be very unrealistically married to Leah Remini, and I'd never know it. <laughs> Absolutely. So I watched that, and that was uh, something. It was okay, I guess. Mm-hmm. It was. It reminded me almost of like Little Giants or some shit back in the day. Isn't it supposed to be the story of when Sean Payton went while he was had that year of suspension? He coached a high school team, right? He yeah. coached his son's like Pee Wee team. Oh, Pee Wee team. Like, okay. They were like twelve. They had or, a lineman named Icebox and a uh, wide <laughs> yeah. receiver named was, Hot was, Hand Hayden. Was Rick Moranis the coach? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, he, was was assist, he might as he might as well have been the assistant. He coach. He was the assistant okay. coach, yeah, All right. because the assistant coach in this thing was so fucking ridiculous and over the top. And they're like, I finally understand when they're like based on a true story. And you're like, <laughs> oh wow, that really happened. <laughs> on that, I'm no. like. No, the only true part of that story is that guy went and coached his kid. There, and his kid probably hated him. That there, just like in the movie. Yep. There is a big thing that Hollywood does where they especially inspired by a true story. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That that doesn't mean a fucking thing other than, hey, I heard about this true story and that made me think of this. <laughs> like how the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is, was inspired by Ed Gein. Mm-hmm. Uh Ed Gein didn't do any of that shit. No. Yeah, or like how what Child's play, Texas. like Child's Play was inspired by the My Buddy doll. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Though my 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 Buddy doll was very evil. Uh, cool uh, Runnings, Cool Runnings ruined yeah. my fucking life. Thanks, guys. Sure, Jeez. Yeah, absolutely. Because black people are <laughs> no, no. That whole story is nothing like it. Oh no, 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 it's not nothing. And it was such a great fucking movie. They weren't even sprinters; they were soldiers. Yeah, they were military. They yeah. were child soldiers. Is yeah, they were uh-huh. actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah a bunch of eight year olds on a bobsled team. They're sure. Like, how the hell did these guys get into bobsledding oh. in the uh, fucking Olympics? And they're like, well, we let a dog play basketball. <laughs> it's a, so we have to let. The, the, there's no rule says they can't. Yeah, that's right. A <laughs> lot of people didn't realize that Jamaica has a very strong wing of, of uh, Nazi youth. It's, uh, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Jesus. All right. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, have anything else? So anyway, unremarkable. Go yeah, that, Un- that's it. That's yeah, just it. like my week. I was, it if, was fucking unremarkable. Honestly, if... If they ever make a movie of your life, that's what they have to call it. Unremarkable. <laughs> that's fantastic. That's going to be the name of my next comedy album. Fuck yes. Unremarkable. You're oh, going to be perfect. played by Marky Mark. <laughs> uh, that's great. I told you, I'm going to be played by Fat Jonah Hill. Okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. I like that better anyways. Uh, I guess well, I'll move on to my week. Do you want to talk about uh, my week? It was Unremarkable. <clears throat> Um, good, good call back, Scott. Jesus yeah, Christ, it really was. I, I, I was still kind of recovering from from our my illness that I had as well. Uh, but uh, I had a lot of time because this is the like we now have Saturdays off. The service department at the dealership I work with or, or I work for uh, now is closed on Saturdays, so I get every Saturday, and so I took it upon myself to do absolutely fucking nothing. You only had to work like one a month beforehand, though, right? Uh, one every t- uh, it was every other at one point, and then it was one every three. It just kept getting less and less. You make it sound like you've worked every Saturday for like the last seven years. When You're you like, have, I'm finally not doing anything. That six-day work week is a bitch, and so I'm very excited about it. But, uh, but yeah. But so I wouldn't give for a six-day work week. <laughs> yeah, right, Jeremy? Jeremy, uh, you remember your first part-time job, don't it, you? Yeah. Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I was really excited. I, I, I stayed at home and I watched uh, some college football um, and just cuddled up next to the fire. I had a really good time. But uh, whenever I wasn't watching football, I was watching Parks and Recreation. God damn, that's a great show. God fucking white it's so good. I mean, once you get through the first season, you kind of get over what's her nuts. I, I, I don't know her real name, but uh, Leslie, Leslie Nope. Oh, yeah, what's yeah, her name? Uh, Yep, Something. exactly. <laughs> but that was the only thing that I thought I was going to get fucking annoyed with. Yeah. I am actually more of a fan of hers than I am of Chris Pratt's character. Amy Poehler. Now. Amy and Poehler. She's, she's funny. She actually is really <clears throat> funny in this thing. I mean, but like, I actually decently like her character. The guy that she ends up dating at like season four or five, I can't remember his name either. Louis C.K.? Ben? No. Oh, that, Adam Scott. Adam Scott. That's who it is. Uh, I like him a lot too. I thought I thought it was really neat. He, I didn't realize he was a huge Star Wars fan, and he was uh, he came oh, on yeah. super huge. Like uh, I mean, really in real life, he's also a uh, a huge uh, fan of the band U two. Oh, and he and uh, Did you Scott. Him, Jeremy, I I wish I wish uh, I I opened. Uh, well, they there was a a, uh, a festival 
that I I put together that they performed at Lollapalabia. Oh yeah. And, <laughs> That was them and a bunch of my bands, and, and ever since then, they just won't even return my phone calls <laughs> wow. or emails or That's too anything. Bad. They said it was unremarkable. <laughs> <laughs> That's a callback, Scotty. Uh-huh. Yeah, here you go. Um, but no, apparently he's such a big Star Wars fan. He was on one of the talk shows, like The Tonight Show or Conan or something like that, and uh, Mark Hamill actually surprised him. I guess whenever he was a kid, he sent Mark Hamill an invitation yeah. to, his bir- or to his birthday and <laughs> didn't come. So, oh, he uh, didn't? No, huh. Mark Hamill didn't come. Uh, so he ends up showing up and and uh, making his day and stuff like that. it was pretty, it was pretty fucking cool on the I think it was the Tonight Show but I can't remember I've heard in real life he is the nicest fucking guy you could ever Mark Hamill yeah oh I hundred percent God he must get sick and tired of the whole Jedi thing though I don't think he does he embraces it good good for him um, but yeah anyways this Adam Scott he used to do a podcast with uh, Scott Ackerman which they used to just say uh, the Ock. Uh, yeah, the Ock. Oh, the damn. guy who used to uh, host uh, Comedy Bang Bang. Oh, uh, yeah. But, but yeah, it was Adam Scott Ackerman is how they... And I, but it was called You Talking You 2 to Me. <laughs> that was the name of it. It <laughs> nice. was all about you 2. Of course, they never talked about you 2, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Go on. Uh, anyways, uh, I'd we, like to get back to Adam Scott talk now. Yeah, uh, we had uh, fantasy football uh, go so far so good. I think all three of us are going to win our games this week. Yeah. So that's good. Uh, and then uh, my wife ended up getting tickets to go see the new Avatar, which uh, I think we're going opening night too. I don't know which one. Wow, where'd to. she score those? Like a the movie in- theater? The internet? Really? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, we're going in. We're going Friday at like six thirty. I something. think yeah, something like that. And it's got to be. Damn, it's I'm got, gonna have to change shows. The man. IMAX 3D. Yeah. You gotta go to that. That's that. That's the only way you, you know? can see. What if that this shit? one sucks? It's gonna be good. The last. I one's hope you good. guys got front row seats. It, no, we did not. But God that's damn the only it. way to see a 3D movie right up close, <laughs> right up front, Scotty. Yeah, just it, crane that neck. There's like 38 sharks in that movie. Fuck. It, I, if it, it better they, not they suck. They counted. 15 fucking years for you to make a new movie. I swear <clears> to God, <throat> if this sucks, I'm gonna be so. It's I'm gonna, gonna suck. Care. I'm well, not gonna care. Don't watch my sex tape. Okay, that's it. Good for you. A lot of sucking in that. There <laughs> it is. <laughs> Fifteen years for me to make that thing. The, the, it yeah. was actually. It was. We made like. It was. It was all the sex I've had over fifteen years, just in like fourteen second intervals. Yeah. And it's now. About, it's a TikTok that you can actually about, see. It's about a whole nine minutes. You're strung together all those vines. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. And uh, I've seen it, and let me just say, remarkable. Remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was my week. Go ahead. God damn, that guy came 59 times. (laughs) It's like he never wears out. Yeah. (laughs) Go ahead and go, Jeremy. Oh. He fucked himself skinny and then fat again. (laughs) And then somebody bragging about having sex 59 times. (laughs) Jesus. Um, It's not that impressive over nine years, Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, Listen. Um, (laughs) I said 15 years. That was anyway. That's even worse. Yeah. Oh, well, 15, yeah. That's it. <laughs> uh, listen, I uh, I worked all weekend, so I didn't get to do much, but I had one hell of a sports weekend. Mm. Uh, my my Wildcats came through for me yep. both times. Uh-huh. Uh, they they won the Big 12 football championship on, uh, on Saturday morning. Started at 11. I don't know why in the fuck I had to go into work even earlier than normal so I could get off in time. To watch the fucking game, and then uh, they for? oh TCU all day. Okay, oh, yeah, I, I saw you had the purple on. I, I did. Yeah, <laughs> I figured you were a horn frog. Yeah, I am. Um, and then uh, they went on to uh, beat Wichita State in basketball later on that night. We suck, and, and K State's not good. I know. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, Wichita State was winning that game handily. Uh, let's see. I watched. Surprise me. Well, I uh, think they still have a lot of Weber's fundamentals, so that's probably why they won. Oh no, they don't. Uh, <laughs> I they're picked last in the Big Twelve. I wish I could blame it on that. They're picked last in the Big Twelve because eleven of their thirteen returning scholarship players, or their eleven of their thirteen scholarship players, are new. Wow! Yeah. Didn't the whole team so, enter uh, the portal? Yeah I, yeah, I think so. Wow! And uh, so far, unremarkable. Unremarkable. Let me, uh, let's see. I. Uh, other than working and watching a lot of football, uh, yeah, I, that happened, and then I, I'm going to win my fantasy football game. And uh, so, yeah, it's been a great sports weekend for me. I didn't get sick, so fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so um, other than that, I watched uh, Big Mouth. Season 6 came out on Netflix. Love you, that show. Okay. I, watch it. No. I got through the first three seasons, and that was enough. Watch it. No. Just watch it. I don't want to. 
Fine. Fuck you, queer. <laughs> The squirt? The squirt? Yeah. Parks and Rec, man. I've seen it. <laughs> all I, of it. I'm the one who told you about it. All of it? That and all the commercials on NBC. Yes, I've watched all of it. Oh, okay. Watch it again. No. It's great. Got it memorized. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just <laughs> named all the fucking characters. Yeah, you did. Jagoff. You sure did. Fucking white people. What? Nothing. Go ahead. Ron Swanson is amazing. Best character ever. You know what's great is all the different uh, paintings in the hallway. Yes, How they the change. murals. Yes, yes, it's it's just a bunch of paintings talking about settlers <laughs> just doing awful things to the natives. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. What else did I do? Uh, nothing. Did you rake the leaves? What leaves, Scotty? Don't you have trees? Uh, no, I, I did. Uh, okay. I, I had a nice conversation with my... Uh, my my uh, weed control company oh. today. Uh, I had hired a company called Tinder Care to do all my weed control stuff. They mm-hmm. swipe and, uh, swipe on your lawn. Uh, yeah, they do. <laughs> nah, not that one. Well, they kind of did because uh, halfway <laughs> through the year, this halfway through the summer this year, they decided to team up with a company called True Green. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To do now, Tinder Care just does the landscaping, and then True Green does all the fucking weed control, which. I have a problem with uh, True Green. I had them, I don't know, seven, eight years ago, and they killed my lawn and wouldn't honor their warranty because they said, well, it got so hot this summer that they had no control over that. It's Kansas. (laughs) Guess what fucking happens here? You know that when you made the fucking promise, and so I won't go with them again. So I got to call and fire them today. Nice. Yeah. And uh, boy, did they not want that to happen. <laughs> I got to yell at a customer service person. <laughs> oh, good for you. Yeah. Well, I mean, she was really being ridiculous. Now, did you want us to cancel the weed control, the aerating, the winterizing? The- cancel my fucking service! <laughs> Well, I just didn't know if you wanted us to cancel. I said cancel. The service couldn't be more clear about it. <laughs> she was just, she was intentionally. It took 15 minutes to cancel. It. Oh, shit. I guarantee you if I was calling in to pay my bill, it would have taken 30 seconds. Yep. That's the way it works, but man. But she's in there typing like this. <laughs> I could hear the fucking keyboard. And she must have said bear with me eight times. Oh. And I finally went, I'm done bearing with you. Let's go. <laughs> you should have went, roar. Yeah. <laughs> now your turn to do a bear roar. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought we were doing this together. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was bearing with you. I wonder if she, she just knows my, my body type and in the gay community what I would be. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, anyway. uh, other than that, that's... That's all I did was just uh, kick ass at sports all weekend. Yeah, and uh, be awesome. Yeah, she was talking to her coworker when she. That's what she was really saying. Like, you want to go to lunch? I got a bear with me. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so you didn't. You didn't yeah, finish. maybe she was just warning. Uh, yeah, I got a bear with me. <laughs> Don't come around yeah. me. JP works there. Listen. She's like, hey JP, I got a bear on the line. <laughs> that's why this is taking so long. I can't make sudden movements. There's a fucking bear here. Listen, really, I want to cancel your account, but I've got to play dead. <laughs> bear with me. That, that was a call for help. Please call animal control. <laughs> oh, now I feel bad about yelling at this poor woman. <laughs> No, you don't. No, she I got don't. screamed at and mauled after that phone call. <laughs> exactly. No, because she didn't speed up at all. <laughs> Jeremy was make trying to make as much noise as he possibly could so that bear could attack that fucking lady. Yeah, that's what he yeah. was doing. So I, get her! I basically went, "Nah, you won't do it, bear. <laughs> you, I bet you won't, pussy." <laughs> so did you? Uh, did you cancel the air rating? No, I, I decided to keep that on. <laughs> I I didn't realize that it would cancel that service too. I, I definitely need that air rating. Okay, I, I wasn't sure. Yeah. What about the winterization? Did you keep that too? Because I mean, it's starting to get cold. And... But yeah, dude, I got to keep the winterization. <laughs> okay. I mean, the fucking lawn will die without it. Yeah, yeah. And then I don't want it to be taken over by weed, so I kept the weed control part too. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, I just called the yell at this woman. Yeah. <laughs> My grief. bill actually went up $38. But <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I got extra services. <laughs> that sounds like every time I try to call the cable company, that's what ends up fucking uh-huh. happening. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm calling to get rid of some shit. Oh, but now I got more shit. Thanks. I just called and canceled mine, and that was an ordeal. I'm sure it oh, was. Oh, Jesus. And they don't want to let you, and they won't speed it the fuck up. Uh, I called earlier uh, earlier in this year to watch a K-State game that was only on the Longhorn Network. Yeah. And I didn't have that tier because there's a second tier of sports channels that you got to subscribe to. (laughs) And apparently when I told the guy that I wanted to subscribe to that, he also thought that I wanted to subscribe to the uh, home security service too. (laughs) (laughs) Because they sent me three wireless cameras and an extra charge on my next bill. And it's like, is this... Come with the K State game? What the fuck? You need to you need to keep tabs on me watching the game. I don't know from the. Uh, I mean, it's it it is a costly package. Somebody might break in and try and steal it. I guess they're, they're hoping to get the footage of the Apple turnover is what they're trying to get. Well, that won't happen again. Uh, I'm just saying it I might. I don't eat carbs. Uh, yeah, well, even on Ambien. Oh, surprising. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got to move on uh, with the rest of the show, get to the sports and all that stuff. But before we do, I wanted to give a shout out to our sponsor, Manscaped.com. They make excellent products to help keep your balls, dick, and butthole nice and groomed. Oh, can I say one more thing? Sure. Shout out to my old man, my dad. It's his birthday today. Oh, cool. 72. Happy fucking birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Get him a lawnmower 4.0. I think he'd probably enjoy that. Oh, I can't imagine that he would. You, you got to teach him how to use it. Sure, yeah. sure. <laughs> Even the old yeah. saggy. Skin. Remember back when I was a kid, how you'd lather up my face, Dad, <laughs> and you'd show me to shave. You'd pretend to sh- I'd shave in the mirror with you. Yeah, well, uh, payback time. Yeah. put Str- a put a foot up on the toilet. Sure. <laughs> Stretch your this, folds. This should be getting one of these. Should be one of those father son bonding moments, <laughs> just in reverse. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Or just something that you teach your kid <laughs> growing up. This is becoming a part of everyday life now. <laughs> Looks great, Dad. Now we're going to uh-huh. go in with the ball toner, and yeah. this is going to make it nice and yeah. shiny. Yeah, Dad, I've been meaning to tell you for a while, your nuts smell like garbage. <laughs> That's why you have the ball deodorant. Mm-hmm. Mom keeps complaining right about your hairy dick, so you need to <laughs> <laughs> oh, but they snip just, that shit. Just clean it up a little bit. Sneak up behind him while he's sleeping and get him in the nose with the fucking <laughs> weed whacker. Weed whacker, yeah. yeah absolutely. All of these great products are at manscaped.com. Uh, yeah, get your dad that lawnmower 4.0. That and adjustable LED light will help with his eyesight, you know? Father's Day is just six short months away. <laughs> That's <so>. right. <laughs> uh, but they have the lawnmower 4.0, an excellent product. They have other products that we've referred to <laughs> using your dad as an example. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he tons. could use every one of them. He That's, wouldn't, but he right. could. But if he wanted to, he could go to manscaped.com and check no out. No rule says my dad can't. That's right. Yeah. Uh, manscaped.com and uh, anything that uh, your dad may like, uh, yeah. tell him to use the promo code SIDELINES. He'll get 20% off of his order and free shipping, and that helps us out. It helps him out, and it lets Manscaped know that we're actually reading all of these commercials word for word. I can't believe they contacted your dad for this one. This one was actually kind of special. Yeah. I, I'm Happy birthday. I can't believe it either. Probably because <laughs> probably it didn't happen. <laughs> speaking, uh, uh, speaking of dads, I was pretty excited. My wife's going to let me do this. Uh, you know, like whenever your buddy has a kid and you get him like the most obnoxious fucking thing in mm-hmm. the world for Christmas. 100%. Well, um, I kind of got to do this for my father-in-law for Christmas. Oh, yeah? Yes. Uh, my father-in-law is like uh, kind of he loves comic books. You got him a kid? I, that's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah. It's not mine. Uh, <laughs> I got, surprise. I got him a... Uh, he, he, well, he's a big comic book guy. He loves comic books. He's got tons of them. And I can. my mother-in-law will complain. Like, uh, yeah, he needs more of those all the time. You know, she just hates that he has this many comic books. Uh, so Get I, over it. I found on Amazon. <laughs> his favorite is the Silver Surfer. That's his favorite. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah, I found on Amazon a seven-foot-tall cardboard cutout of the Silver Surfer. Yeah. Fucking perfect. <laughs> and, uh, it will be here Wednesday. Nice. So Sweet. I am fucking pumped because oh. he's going to want to put it up in the house. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> And, and there's there's no quiet corners to put something like that in. <laughs> no. That's seven great. foot. Yes. That's, that's bigger than life size. <laughs> that's with the board. Yeah, the yeah. board makes it seven okay. foot. Okay. Oh, man, that's great. 
<laughs> Way to go, Derek. Yes. I'm pretty pumped for that. Your father-in-law is going to love you, but your mother-in-law is going to hate you. God damn, it's going to be funny. It is going to be funny. Uh, but we got some sports news to get to. Like uh, Jeremy referred to earlier, his K-State Wildcats upset TCU to win the Big 12 championship. Um, fun game. It was a fun game. It really was. Uh, really was not at game. the time. Uh, it was <laughs> nerve-wracking is what it was. Uh, thank God I don't have that feeling anymore. Listen, it, it was. I'm, I'm very proud of them. I'm so glad that they won. Um, but here's the thing is that it didn't have to go to overtime. Uh, I believe they went into halftime with a four-point lead, even though TCU seemed to be kind of dominating the game. Mm-hmm. Um, they come out right after halftime. TCU gets the ball. They stop him three and out. They actually forced a fumble, but they overturned it, saying that his arm was moving forward because the guy just basically came up and blocked the ball out of the quarterback's hands, and it rolled backwards, and one of the TCU guys recovered it in the end zone for safety. Mm -hmm. But then they overturned that, but they punt it away. K-State marches down the field for a quick touchdown. Then they get another quick three and out. And if they could have marched it down the field on that next drive, the game would have been over there. But unfortunately, Phillip Brooks muffed the fucking punt, gave it to TCU down damn near on their own goal line, and they scored and got him right back in the fucking game. And uh, I hope he gets cut. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he's done a lot of really good things for us, that's unforgivable. And, that, and they still uh, made it into the uh, college football playoff, so TCU is and, number and four team. And rightly, they should have. They should have, yeah. They should have. That's uh, Alabama can bitch all they want, yep. but the fact is – TCU at least earned the right to be in an extra game where they had to go and beat a team that they had already beaten again, you know, and of course they came up short because I've always said it's really, really hard to beat a good team twice and Alabama didn't earn the right to even do that. That, so, was, that was the first uh, loss for TCU, wasn't it? Yes. yes. 12 so, and yeah, so they went perfect throughout the regular season, beat everybody in the Big 12 Conference they deserve to be in those playoffs. Well, there's a video going around now from a few years back of Nick Saban saying that there's no two lost team that should be in the playoff. If you oh, lost, yeah, yeah there it's it's him from a couple of years ago when he thought felt like he should be in, and no two lost team should be in, and now he's a two lost team and yeah, pissed he's not in. Well, uh, suck it, I'm, Saban. I'm interested to see what happens because that's who K State will be playing in that's the Sugar Bowl. Exactly right, K State against Alabama. You said that last week. Yeah. Well, I said that that's probably what was going to happen right. so long as Alabama didn't get in the playoffs. Next year, they're expanding the playoffs to 12 teams or what I like to call the save Alabama's ass. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, let's make sure that Alabama gets all their exposure. I thought it was uh, – I thought it was – Oh, you know, yeah, right. 12. 23-24 season, yeah. isn't it? That's, yeah. That's and enough. That, I, don't I've, do it anymore. I fucking oh, yeah. hate that they're doing it. I do I, too. I absolutely hate it. Ultimately, what's the best thing for for college football, for any sport, is to have the best two teams play each other for the championship. And the more teams that you expand this to, the more that one of the better teams can stumble. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to wind up with the best two teams, and you're going to have some weird fucking obscure team that slips into the fucking finals and gets their ass kicked by Georgia or somebody. Exactly. That's that's the worst kind of fucking feeling. Uh-huh. That is the worst. You do uh, you're exactly right. Whenever you get those 12 teams, you're going to get the one team that just gets hot like on their side of the bracket, make it all the way through all these great teams and then you're going to get a national championship where it's 63 to 3 is the final fucking yeah. score. Well, not to mention that a lot of times it's you know, like Alabama, we don't know what team is going to show up because half their fucking players are NFL bound, and so they bow out of the fucking playoff game. Yeah, and we played LSU yeah. last year with like their backup punter as the fucking quarterback. I think he was a wide receiver playing quarterback because all of their good players opted out. Right, and K State just destroyed them. Yep. So, and now we get to sit around with our thumb up our ass waiting for mm-hmm. like bowl Saturday. Yep. It, all this will be taking place next March. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yay! This is going to be fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, but now moving on to some uh, let's more football news, but let's get to the professional rankings. Uh, we just missed this last week, so I'm going to bring it up. Antonio Brown remains wanted by the Tampa Bay Police Department for battery charges. According to the police, Brown threw a shoe at his ex's ponytail as he kicked her out of the home. 
Wouldn't that be her head? Yes, it's her yeah. fucking head. Or does she own a <clears throat> pony? <laughs> <laughs> In which case, this is belongs on this show. That's exactly right. We're going right back to horse talk. Mm-hmm. All things equine. That's all right. All the time. All the time. Apparently, there's already a, a podcast called Horse Talk. Yeah, I saw Somebody that. Somebody made us aware of that. Yes, they did. Well, and is... I think they should be sued. I We're going to sue them to stop. You thieving bastards. I agree. Um. I haven't had the balls to go and listen to it because I. You don't want to get. You don't want to get off. Oh God! I bet you it's horrible. I bet you they just copy our material. Probably. There's actually a, at least one or maybe even two shows out there that already do that. That's true. So uh, there's no <laughs> doubt that Horse Talk does. Fuck that. yeah! How long do you think a weekly show <laughs> Horse Talk is? <laughs> I, I, bet, I bet it's a fucking two and a half hour every week. Absolutely. There's guys that won't you shut up about it. do a couple hours a day. Easy. Easy. Easily. Yeah. 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 Horses are always changing. Absolutely. They are. All sorts of different breeds. They're saying with genetic modification, not too long until they have thumbs. Yeah. yeah I'd like to see that happen. You yeah. know who we should have talk about it? Who? Fred. Fred's girlfriend showed Does a she horse. she horse? No, she showed or she showed horses well, for showed like horses. years. Here, you want to see a horse? Check it out. No, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> professionally <laughs> show well, horses. Give me a dollar. No, <laughs> I'm not. I'll gonna. give you a dollar. I'll show you this horse. He probably knows Doesn't shitloads about horses. Bought some new fun facts that we could have on this. One show. of my favorite Brian Regan bits of all time. He said he was driving down the interstate and he came behind a truck pulling a horse trailer that said on there, "Caution: Show horses on board." <laughs> Oh, God, 10 and 2, 10 and 2. <laughs> Everybody else, stop what you're doing. There's show horses involved. I mean, if these were regular horses, I'd run them right off the road, but now we got to use caution. And the next week, I saw a sign that said, just dumb old donkeys. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. But anyways, uh, yeah, Antonio Brown's fucking crazy. Uh, really? The best thing I've seen on this Jesus. is that tweet that said Antonio Brown's about to sign, or the, the Tampa Bay Police Department's about <laughs> to sign a long-term deal with Antonio Brown. Yep, I saw that shit. That's funny. Appa- apparently he's locking himself inside of his house. Like, can't they go in there if they've got a warrant? Yeah. What's stopping them? I don't, he money. threw a shoe at a ponytail. That's what. <laughs> to quote Austin Powers, <laughs> who throws a shoe? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> fart like a woman, <laughs> and and I guarantee you, just given the company that I think Antonio Brown keeps, I guarantee you that started off with, "Tell me, I won't throw a shoe at your fucking ponytail," <laughs> <laughs> and just at the ponytail, not and and obviously that's what was reported to the police because that's what he's wanted for, not through a shoe at her. At her ponytail. ponytail. I, or, I like to think that she said it was at his head, or at her head. Uh-huh. And he's like, oh, hell no. I threw I it at that bitch's ponytail. ponytail. Yeah. I didn't throw it at her head. I didn't throw it at her head. I like to think that she hasn't had a ponytail in years, <laughs> and she just cut it off and like put it in a shadow box <laughs> somewhere. And he's like, F- fucking hair. She was going to donate that to Locks mm-hmm. of Love. That's right. Yeah. Until he threw his shoe at it. Yeah. Piece of shit. Uh, yeah, he's crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, if they were to go storm his house, there's this can't wouldn't end well. No, he'd be dead. He would definitely commit suicide by cop. I have no doubt about it. I bet he'd hang himself with a ponytail. Yeah, he probably would. He'd braid it together. Tell me I won't come outside with all these grenades strapped to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, you know what? Hope uh, hope everything comes comes out okay with that whole situation. Uh, anyways, moving on. Unfortunately, we had some injuries over the last week in the NFL. Uh, Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be out for the season with a broken foot. That motherfucker cannot catch a break. God damn it! And the, it's like the 49ers look so good. They do. They, they look so good. This third stringer, though, Purdy. He looks all right. He looks I mean, Purdy. Wasn't he Mister Irrelevant? Wasn't he the last pick of the draft? Yeah, I don't. Yes. know. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and I. I heard J- Jim Rome just happened to be on when I was eating my lunch in the car. And, did you uh, keep it down? I did. <laughs> okay, good. I kept it good. all the way down. It took some work. but Because uh, Baker Mayfield was released. Yeah, yeah. he was. And th- he kind of knows this system. And while he's not the best option, they may bring him in, but he may not start right away. And he was the first overall pick in his draft. Yeah. And so the first overall pick may be backing up. The last pick of the draft, of and last I, year's draft. And that's poetic justice, It baby. sure is. Mm-hmm. I, given what I, I 
saw anyway, I guess, in the highlights from this Purdy, uh, he seems to be twice the quarterback Baker Mayfield is. Uh, yeah, and, and, and when you're in that system, especially when you're around all that fucking talent, like, what is your job? Give the ball to Debo Samuel, give, you know, throw the ball to Brandon Ayuk, mm-hmm. throw it to Jeremy Kittle, and hand the fucking ball off to the best running Say back in Jer- the NFL. George Kittle. Did I say Jeremy Kittle? Yeah. I meant George Kittle. My bad. But then you got Christian McCaffrey. That used to be my stage name. Jeremy yeah. Kittle. Jeremy mm-hmm. Kittle. Yeah. yeah. Um, JK, JK. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> they, they called him the uh, the corn, the kittle corn. Kittle corn? Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, but You're no, welcome. Give I, me a fucking rim shot on that. Right. Thank you. But all you really got to do is let everybody around you do their job. It cannot be the hard, and that's what Jimmy Garoppolo made his career. Yes. He's not turning the ball Just over. Just not and, fucking up. That's it. It's kind of sad as today I was online and I... I was using like Edge, and they'll have like news stories that pop up on Microsoft Edge mm-hmm. when you open a new tab, and uh, I'll go through those. And one of them was like, Jimmy Garoppolo has decided where he's going to play in 2023. I'm like, oh, let me click that. Jimmy Garoppolo said he plans to stay with the with the San Francisco 49ers in 2023. Blah blah blah. And I'm like, when was this article written? 1:23 p.m. yesterday. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, damn it. Yikes. <laughs> That's what they get for having the 330 yeah. start time, yeah. No shit. God, that sucks. I hope he signed the contract. <laughs> I do, too. Yeah. Because um, that fucker goes out a lot. Yeah, and Trey Lance, I don't know. I mean, if you're the 49ers, do you want to? Yeah, he broke his foot, too. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, two broken feet. Yeah. What you need is better shoes. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, had, you basically have one job. Manage two jobs, really. Manage the game. Don't break your foot. That's yeah. it. Uh, he's lucky he's not a fucking horse. I'll tell you that. <laughs> they have got some fucking lead today. <laughs> be dog food. Or at least an Antonio Brown shoe. <laughs> be fucking Garoppa glue. Yeah. That's what, he was you, that's what I it wonder, would be. Did Antonio Brown throw like a horseshoe? Maybe. maybe. I like to think so. I, I like think to think so. so he was just going for a ringer. Yeah. That's right. Uh, but yeah, so there's that. Um, Baker Mayfield, we did say that he uh, was released by the Carolina Panthers. Uh, Deshaun Jackson also ends up getting hurt. In the I didn't Ravens know game. he was still playing. I figured you drafted him. No, no, fuck you. Oh. I didn't know he was still playing. Yeah, uh, but yeah, he is uh, hurt. He's going to be week to week. So uh, that's Michael's boy, right? Yeah, <laughs> nice. Sure is. Actually, Tito's. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he he had to become a good football he player. Did, yeah. yeah. Uh, unfortunately, as much as it hurts to say, Aaron Rodgers still owns the Chicago Bears. I don't think so. Uh, I think when you are a four-win team and beat a three-win team, there's nothing to brag about, really. I get you. And he threw for 160 yards. Yeah, he didn't look that great. No. Uh, it was Christian Watson, I think, was the only one that looked decent. Yeah, he got a couple touchdowns, ran a 50-yard run or 47-yard run yeah. and caught one. Uh, so yeah, there's there's that, and then, sadly, that's kind of what I wanted to have happen. I know because you want draft picks. Right? Yeah, yeah, and right now we're slated for the number two pick. I was going to ask you too. Would you? Do you just want them to sit Fields? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Start I, I, that's Nathan what Peterman. I, I think so too. Or was it Simeon? Simeon's on IR now. Uh, okay. So start Nathan Peterman. We'll never win a game with him. <laughs> like, we can't fuck that up. Yeah, well, just don't hurt your franchise quarterback. We've already established that now, okay, we can say Justin Field, uh, Fields that's is our guy. Yeah, that's your guy. He's going to be a stud. Don't fuck it up. And it's like, why are you putting him in the game? Yeah. Don't, what are you doing? He wanted to play. I'm sure don't he do did. That. But and still, yeah, do not do that. He still got shoulder issues and stuff like that, and it and it showed. He threw two interceptions. He didn't look all that great. They should. The the only chance they have at winning a game, in my opinion, is the last game of the season against Minnesota. <laughs> it's the last game of the season because if they'll if sit, they sit everybody. everybody right. We might have a shot, but the rest of our schedule, we play Philly next week. That's a loss. Buffalo. That's a loss. The Lions. That's a loss. And Minnesota. Uh huh. Yeah, that's so, a win. Um, speaking of uh, Detroit, whoo, they look good. I swear to God, I get from like six to midnight every single time I watch a post game. You're a like, Chase t- fan. I'm a Lions fan. Dan Campbell in the locker room, it just like pumping up his something, guys. Something about him with a towel on. Just no, to get your motor going. No, he's fully dressed. Come on, man. He's just sitting there and he's just pumping up his guys. I love that dude. Um, but yeah. So uh, the other thing I wanted to what point do you mean, out, pumping them up, like just. Praising him. He's such a player's coach. I fucking love that dude. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, here's another uh, uh, fun fact that is going to make Jeremy Joseph really nice and happy. Uh, Joe Burrow, Joe Cool, he owns the Chiefs. The Bengals take down Kansas City 27-24, to and that is the third straight time that they have beat the Chiefs 
And they have, I think. By three every time. Yeah, but Same still. score, 27-24. Two in a row, 27-24. Third and time by three. For the okay. last seven uh, times <coughs> that they've played in Cincinnati, Cincinnati has beat Kansas City every time. Yeah. Seven straight times in Cincinnati. So is that just the Chiefs kryptonite? I mean, Cincinnati, when everybody's healthy, is a really good fucking team. They are. Sin City. Sin City. Sin City, yeah. Sin City, right? Yeah. Whatever you said, yeah. Yeah, sure. Whatever Um, you said was totally unremarkable. It was. (laughs) Uh, But no, do you think that after the win against Kansas City, do you think that the Bengals are a Super Bowl contender now? Absolutely. They got Jamar Chase back. They did. He's the fucking, in my opinion, the best receiver in football. Him and T. Okay. Higgins next to each other are two. Are, is probably yeah. one of the best tandems. Oh, they sure. and they could have won by quite a bit more. Uh, was it Higgins just mm-hmm. absolutely dropped one that Burroughs dropped right? I think in it was his Boyd. Hands. I think it was Boyd. It was Boyd. Yeah, yeah it was okay. Boyd. I mean, right in his fucking hands. But there yeah. was a few very uncharacteristic drops. Yeah. in that game, that I. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, you know why the Chiefs didn't win? Because Kelsey gave it away. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, he literally <laughs> he did handed them the fucking ball because he, he thought he had heard the whistle. Yep. And, and that's uh, that's my tight end. God damn it. Uh, but uh, the highlight of the week, the Predator returns to Sean <clears throat> Watson. And, uh, wow, he looked like shit. Well, he hadn't played in fucking almost two years. Why do you even put him out on the field? It's not like your team is not still being competitive. They have a snowball's chance in hell to make the playoffs. Paying him a billion dollars a year, <laughs> so they want something out of him. Yeah, they ended up uh, playing the Houston Texans, which is right where all of the massage and so, sexual right. misconducts and, and happen. This was supposed to be a bigger deal than it was. Yeah. That's why they – who gets an 11-game suspension? You either go 10 or full season mm-hmm. 11. That you, you strategically did it thinking this would get you big ratings – and obviously the game was a fucking dud because both teams have been very disappointing this year. Oh, God. Well, I don't know about disappointing. Nobody expected anything of them. But I think people were expecting a lot of bad blood. I think Houston was happy to be rid of Deshaun, Deshaun Watson. Watson. 100%. And I think Deshaun Watson was happy to be out of Houston. Yes, he was. And he looked awful. He, was 12, he went 12 for 22. He had 131 yards, no touchdowns, and one interception. So, I mean, it's just a, it's a bad showing. If I have any, like, Cleveland Browns players – uh, for fantasy, I don't want to play them unless their name is Nick Chubb. That's about it. Not even Kareem Hunt at this point. Uh, but anything else you guys wanted to go over, I guess, that you guys noticed? I do. What you got? Um, I read something today. What would you read? Um, Horton Hears a Who. Oh, really? Uh, mm-hmm. That's a very intelligent book. Oh, uh, Trevor Lawrence, out for the year. We forgot uh, to mention that. Oh, is, yeah. he? <clears throat> is he actually out for the year? I believe so, yeah. Oh, that's not good. Um, I, I thought so. We were talking a week or two ago, it was after the Thanksgiving games, about how, like, every fucking play, I don't, it might have been the Detroit game, where somebody was down. Yes. Every fucking play. The mm-hmm. NFL has addressed this. Oh. Um, they say now that clubs and individuals determined to be in violation of the rule of, like, delaying the game to do this, faking injuries, right? Uh, they will be subject to discipline to include a minimum fine of $350,000 for the club, uh, a minimum fine of 100000 for the head coach, 50000 for the assistant coaches, and if applicable, a minimum fine of 50000 for the players. Great. And I've also read it, it could also imp- implicit or implicate uh, you could lose draft choices. Ooh. So if you fucking per- – if they find that you are purposely <coughs> faking injuries – you can be suspended and lose draft picks as well as find those amounts of money. Mm. But how do you prove that? How can you prove somebody's not in pain? Well, whenever they jog right the fuck off the field after being stretched, then don't miss another play the rest of the right, game. Right, the guys get stingers all the time. Great. Uh, I think that they should make it to where they allow vicious hits on those guys. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. You, can, you can lower your head and <clears throat> go helmet to helmet on a guy who's yeah. laying on the ground who's not really hurt. I say they just let him play on. Be like, nope, yeah. disregard, yep, disregard, Just like go. soccer, you can just leave the guy on the field and yeah. keep playing. God, that's one thing. I actually fucking watched the entire game uh, uh, whenever the United States played uh, Iran and they yeah. won the, the soccer match. 
And then they ended up playing the Netherlands, and it was three to one. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, that's the World Cup. I was really hoping Australia would play the United States, so two teams that actually call the sport fucking soccer would play each other, so it would be the first actual FIFA soccer game. <laughs> I'm just glad it's over, so now we, everybody can stop pretending they care about soccer. Yeah, that's a good point. That's the best thing ever. Such huge United States uh, soccer fan. I do want to uh, to make the uh, the bold statement here, too, and, and I really do mean this. If Max Duggan, quarterback from TCU, doesn't win the fucking Heisman, that is a fucking crime. I agree. That dude is an absolute fucking warrior. Yeah, he is. Is he Hacksaw's kid? Yeah. the I, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Jim Duggan. I, I believe this is that's his son, Dugan, son. right? Dugan, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's his son. Right. Um, listen, uh, no, the only thing going against him is he's kind of a ginger. He is. Uh, what is it with souls. TCU ginger quarterbacks? I don't know. Because Andy Dalton was out of TCU. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, ginger. Wow. Oh, okay. They ought to call, just call it ginger U. They should. That'd be that'd be all right. G U G U G U. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. Um, but no, uh, Trevor Lawrence is not out for the season. He is week to week, but they don't want to rush him back. I'm going to see to it that he's out for the season because okay. I don't want to be made a liar of. Okay, I'm going to hit him in the fucking ponytail. Take him the out. Shoe. <laughs> Tanya Harding his knee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to. There's no way he doesn't wear a ponytail some of the time. I'm going to hit him right in that fire. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Smack him for in that. sure. He's getting a fucking Nike to that motherfucker. All right. Well, now let's move on to the fun stuff. We're going to start this off with real shit or horse shit. It's self-explanatory. Real shit or horse shit. If you can't figure it out, you're a moron. Uh, first one, real shit or horse shit. I will ins- er, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, first, sorry, I messed up. I will instinctually say what when my spouse tells me something and I heard everything just fine. One hundred percent. I got to think of an answer. Mm-hmm. That's why I do it. While she's repeating herself irritatedly, uh-huh. I either think of something really smart ass to say yep. or a way to get out of what she wants me to do. One hundred percent real shit. That's yes. exactly right. You need a, you need her to repeat herself so you have time to think of something to come back. With. My brain has to buffer. That's right. Spinning wheel. Mm-hmm. That's it. Jeremy? Uh, this is horse shit for me. The last thing I would ever do is give her license to talk more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And in saying what, that just means she's going to say it again and add shit to it. Oh, give you more details. Uh-huh. Oh, you like Yeah, details. like she didn't, like, oh, he must not have understood the full situation the first time. <laughs> I better explain it further. <laughs> and bring some friends from work uh-huh. into the conversation. <laughs> oh, that's her bad. friend from high school who's getting married again. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, my my friend Betty from high school when we graduated back in 2000 and whatever, that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 she yeah, went yeah. to high school with a lot of chicks named Betty. Yeah. I'm sure she did. Yeah. <clears throat> Next one. She is pretty old. She is. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Real shit or horse shit. Sniper headshots should be a one-shot kill in every video game. Especially Madden. Definitely. Yeah, especially in Madden. Take That's, them out. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you know what? If they stay on the field too long, it's a penalty. That's right. <laughs> Coach can get fined up to $100,000 <laughs> if they don't fucking get that body out the field. Goddamn right. Move it. What uh, What game is it not? Uh, it, pretty much everyone. Call of Duty, it's definitely not. Battlefield, it's definitely not. You, you've you got to hit them. Uh, at least you knock them down, and then you have to shoot them again. Oh, I know in Hitman, if you hit them in the head, they're dead. That's the only way to get a one-shot <clears throat> kill on somebody. Yeah. And the the most unbelievable part of that is, like, you can hit somebody from 500 yards with your handgun. <laughs> and I do it a lot. Did you throw it at him? Like, I hit, him yep. right, hit him right in the ponytail? Yeah, dude, Hitman's got a fucking a cannon. <laughs> he's got a hose. He does. He has a He does. He's the cannon. opposite of a wolf. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one, real shit or horse shit. I will accidentally pull on a push door or push on a pull door. Horse shit. I can read. That's it. I, uh-uh. Have you ever done it? Me? No. Yeah. I, uh, this is, this is, uh, this is horse shit. I've, I've never done this again. Cause yes, I can read, but there is nothing better than somebody walking into a, uh, like a convenience store and they push on a pull door and go face first into the glass. Oh, that's the best thing ever. Love it. Jeremy? Uh, this is actually a famous uh, Far Side cartoon with Uh-oh. some kid doing this, going into the school for the gifted. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Gifted or the special? Gifted. Oh, gifted. Okay. Um, I probably have done this, but I'm 
pretty quick on the draw when it comes to if it didn't open one way pretty quickly, I'd just go the other way with it. Uh, what I do love seeing is somebody walking into the door when it clearly says, like, please use other door due to high winds or whatever. Uh, it really is. When I worked at, I worked at a gas station many, many years ago. Fucking and bragger. it was just, I know it. I know it. <laughs> All that uh, money. I mean, yeah, I sold gas. <laughs> sure. <laughs> And cigarettes, <laughs> thank you. Uh-huh. Uh, but it the the way that the doors, the double doors were positioned, high winds, which happen a lot here, that we'd have to put that sign up and lock one of the doors, and it really was an exercise <clears> in <throat> noticing just how few people look at where they're fucking going. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, uh, and that was before, well before people had cell phones everywhere oh, yeah. they went. So they just. Stupid. There you go. Back, yep. back in the day, one of my favorite things I used to do, just like along those lines of people not paying attention, mm-hmm. is back whenever I used to wait tables, I used to, we used to have to like suggest appetizers and stuff like that. Yeah. And I would always throw in the most ridiculous fucking shit okay. for appetizers just to see if somebody would catch it and they never would. I think my favorite one that I ever did was I was like, Hey, thanks for coming in tonight. Uh, can I get you guys started with some potato skins, cheese sticks, metamorphic rock, anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're good. I'll just have a water. All right. <laughs> Fucking slip, metam- slip metamorphic rock, right? Metamorphic. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what was the last one? Anyway. <clears throat> Next one. Uh, real shit or horse shit. If I see someone ridiculously ugly or goofy looking, I will secretly try and take a picture of them. This is real shit. And don't even fucking lie. You see that fucking meth head tweaking on the fucking street corner? Oh, yeah. You're getting out your fucking phone. 100% of the time. No. No? No. I don't really do that. I think it's creepy looking because they might think I want to fuck them. Mm. Oh, that's and true. I really don't want that. And they got meth head strength. They'll grab you. They got extra crazy meth head strength. Yeah. That's a good point. I'm still going to do it. It's going to be hilarious. I just can't. Now, if I see something totally ridiculous, like the day I was driving down the street <laughs> and the guy didn't have fucking tie downs and he was just fucking in the back of a truck hanging <laughs> onto a fucking mattress, that was fantastic. I did take a picture of that. Southside, baby. I did take a picture of that. That's right. The human tie down. Yeah. Sweet. That ain't going nowhere. Yeah. That mattress weighed more than that human tie down. <laughs> If the wind caught it just right, it just flipped. I didn't even back. have to catch it oh. that right. If that guy fired it, he's gone. <laughs> and and dude, seriously, once you get a little speed going, there is nothing that can catch a wind like a fucking mattress. And they <laughs> seriously, I've seen it happen and they will fly yeah, like a kite. It's, it's wonderful. It is. It's a sail. Especially if it's somebody's brand new mattress oh, that they yeah. just paid thousands for. Oh, Years yeah. ago, one of my best friends, like me and two best friends all moved in together. It was the first time I ever we any of us lived outside of our parents' house. Uh-huh. And we got this duplex and my buddy comes and he's like, You're not gonna believe this. I just got a brand new bed. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I was driving down the road, and there's a mattress on the side of the road. And I, I mean, it was still pretty much in the plastic, so I picked it up, put it in the back of the truck, and that's I'm using that mattress. Mm-hmm. I got a brand-new free mattress. <laughs> I'm like, that's fucking disgusting, bro. <laughs> and he's like, no, man, that's great. So we never let him live this down, and then we all moved apart from each other, and he lived in an apartment with his uh with his now his wife and we went to my apartment complex and there were a ton of just discarded nasty fucking mattresses and we were driving down in the plastic st- oh no <laughs> no oh. no and we were driving down the street with each mattress on top of a dodge dynasty <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh nice <laughs> at three in the morning <laughs> i'm hanging i'm the human tie down uh-huh. hanging on to this thing and we had spray painted them and like stacked like four of them up against his door wow and then left <laughs> Wow. Because, see, here, here's the thing. I think I've talked about this a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> many, many years ago when I was between aircraft jobs, I worked in a warehouse for a Sears delivery, like, subcontractor. Oh, yeah, you told us that. And uh, Fucking bragging again. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah I li- literally, I've, I've lived a lot of lives, dude. <laughs> yeah. I really have. I'm a regular fucking Forrest Gump over here. <laughs> Aircraft, gas. warehouses, <laughs> selling, Sears. selling gas. I like to think I was a big reason why Sears isn't around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but when people would get new mattresses, the delivery guys would bring the old ones back. And 
we would sell them to a place here in town called Crazy Jays, who would just recover them and market them. Uh, Did whatever the minimum was that uh, they had to to market them as a new mattress. Uh, but yeah, it's just full of piss and sweat and blood and whatever the uh, fuck. That place is still s- around. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Cause, and there's a reason why they're crazy. Um, <laughs> but anyways. Typically, when our delivery guys would bring back the old mattress, they would wrap it in the plastic that the the new one came in so they didn't have to touch it yeah. oh, any God. more than they needed to. So the idea that it's wrapped in plastic, don't make it new no. <laughs> at all. <laughs> at all. Uh, but anyways, how about you, Jeremy? What's up now? <laughs> yeah, Real you- shit or horse shit, if you see someone ridiculously ugly or goofy looking, I will secretly try and take a picture of them. I, I <clears throat> don't if just... For being ugly or goofy looking, people can't help the way that they look. But if they're doing something or if there's something that they could clearly change about themselves, like the way that they dress or yes. their weird fucking ponytail and soul patch goatee when they're fucking doing a funeral or whatever, you know, people like that um, or, you know, bitching at a uh, at a fucking uh, hibachi grill or uh, <laughs> Bitching well, the the fucking uh, you quit fucking around. Yeah, if you quit playing around, maybe shit like that wouldn't happen. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm much more about the behavior. I don't really. That's fair. Um, but uh, what was I saying now? I don't know. <laughs> keep a- keep laughing, assholes. <laughs> so yeah, um, that and here's the thing. I I never have understood how people get such great quick photos of people. By the time I get my camera open on my phone, it's over. <laughs> they'll be gone. Yeah. They'll be gone. And thank you to all the other people that are like me for making that great website, walmartpeople.com. People of Walmart. People of Walmart.com. No, oh, this yeah. is a different one. This is Walmart people. <laughs> Walmart people. This Walmart is, people. It's all just Walmart employees. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And the craziness that they have. Okay, last one. Ever seen a hot Walmart employee? Mm, you're right. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Well, I think it's it only takes about a week before they're just downtrodden by <laughs> everything. Yeah. It, you may have gone into it hot, but after a week and a half, you're just like, oh, God. <laughs> you're the fuck out. Is, between the company and the people. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, last one. Real shit or horse shit? I give myself the best handies. Horse shit. Scotty, you give myself the best handies. <laughs> You do a oh. very good job, especially when you use your mouth. <laughs> that is like, that's your secret weapon. Only you hands. got those soft, smooth hands because you've never done a day of hard work in your life. Absolutely. Onlyhands.com. Mm-hmm. Feels fantastic. I mean, my, my dick can smell your wrists, which is weird. <laughs> it now has fucking smell receptors. Yeah. But mm-hmm. Yeah, this is real shit. Every guy in this Told fucking you. room, this is real shit. I give myself the best hand jobs because I know what I'm doing. Yes. It's it, duh. I could fucking set a Guinness Book of World Record for how fast I could come, and but I don't want to let everybody know it. Jeremy, you just did. Uh, I, I, I didn't say what the time. Would be. <coughs> Nobody listens that's, to him. That's a secret. Um, yeah. <laughs> Joe Rogan actually has a bit about when a woman offers a hand job, and it's like a hand job. Really? Why do you think you can do that better than me? <laughs> That's if, if getting a hand job is is like trying to brush your teeth with your left hand. <laughs> That's why I love Joe Rogan. And it's not that they don't feel good, just not as good as you can do. It. <laughs> That's right. Thank God right. we can't suck our own dick. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Right, Jeremy? Whatever, man. Real shit. Good deal. Yeah, yeah, it's real shit. Of course, okay. I give myself the best hand jobs. Yeah, I know you do. Uh, but now we get to move on to a part of the show we haven't done in quite a while. And I'm really excited about it. Uh, this is Bad Advice with Jeremy. Uh, every once in a while, um, some of you guys send it, send us in a situation or uh, something that you're going through. And uh, you seek the absolutely awful bad advice from our star, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. And we call it Bad Advice with Jeremy. Uh, This week, we actually have a good one. Uh, This is from an Andrew, uh, I believe it's Hilly or Hiley. Um, But he wants to know, uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, Dear Jeremy, I am getting married this upcoming Saturday and haven't written my vows or thought about what I should say. I need some advice on what I should tell my future wife and the promises that I'm going to keep. What's this guy's name? 
Uh, his name is Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, I like this guy. Way to not put any work in. Uh, don't worry, dude. I got you here. Um, this is uh, this is really what you what you have to say. Just write this down word for word. Uh, Mildred. I'm assuming her name's Mildred. <laughs> there's there's no way this guy's not getting a Mildred. Could be Eunice. Uh, maybe <laughs> Myrtle. Maybe Myrtle. <laughs> we'll go with Myrtle. Uh, Myrtle. I promise to always be your guiding light. To serve as a beacon to help you know when you're being a bitch, <laughs> when you're pissing me off, and when to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I promise to let you cook all my meals and smack you in the ass while you do it. <laughs> I promise to cherish you with the same love and passion that your stepdad did while not be not, not getting addicted to huff and spray paint like your real dad did. <laughs> I promise to always be honest and never lie or withhold my opinions about your mother, your friends, or your singing voice. And I promise to always remain true and faithful so long as we both shall live or until you get fat. (laughs) Say that and then have her sign that prenup, by the way. (laughs) That's my advice. Oh, man. That was great, Jeremy. I know. That was excellent. (laughs) Well, thank you very much, Andrew, uh, for sending in a uh, a suggestion. That was actually a pretty good one, guys. Yeah. If you do have any good ones, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines. They don't. At, uh, they, they, yeah, don't. they don't. Uh, at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram. Uh, and if we have, find one that we like, we'll give you a shout-out and uh, embarrass you. Okay, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Again, if you can't figure this out, you're an idiot. Um, first one, overrated or underrated. When the DVD logo perfectly hits the corner. Who the fuck watches DVDs anymore? You don't? No. You should. Why? They're just fine. No. They work. Uh, that's like watching VHS anymore. Mm. I'll pass. Pass? <laughs> yeah, fucking, I don't watch DVDs. Oh my God, this is way underrated. It has to be perfect. And it hits the corner just right. Underrated. Okay. Jeremy? Well, I can tell you I never made a habit of watching the screensaver. If, <laughs> if, I, if I was in the room with the screen on, uh, even if I didn't have a DVD to watch at the time, I have other TV to watch. Otherwise, I'm going to go do something else. <laughs> Why in the fuck would I watch a screensaver? So I'm going to say that it's overrated. Okay, fine. It's fucking stupid. This is the worst goddamn show ever. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting in my four-week notice. Okay. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, Nintendo 64. I'll go underrated. You better. Yeah, I, I don't have one. I want one. Uh, but no, I'll, I'll go underrated, except I will say GoldenEye overrated. Really? really? Yeah. I, I never, fuck, I don't like first-person oh, shooter games. man. Um, but uh, 64 itself, uh, underrated. I bought one when I was younger. Uh, just so I could play the South Park game when it came out. Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember the South Park game. Beat it and then took the 64 back. <laughs> Jesus. I did do that. Wow. But I'm still going to go underrated. Underrated? It has some of the best titles ever. I mean, it has Mario 64. It had all of the awesome wrestling games as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, like De- WWF 2K. Yep. WrestleMania 2000. 2000, 2000 was, was bomb. That was Probably the best wrestling game I've ever played. Now, granted, I've only ever played that and the original <coughs> Nintendo wrestling. They had, yeah. uh, they had the WCW NWO Revenge. Revenge, yep, I had that too. I never played that. Oh, it was good. Same thing, same make, same creator, THQ. Well, that's what I want, the same fucking game over again with just a different label. Yeah, that's, that's what right. you get now. Yeah, that's what you get now anyway. Um, but no, that's not what I get. Goldeneye, but then also... Mario Kart, man. That's where Mario mm-hmm. Kart was uh, came around originally, I believe. No. no? Super Nintendo. Oh, was it Super Nintendo mm-hmm. was the original one? Okay. Yeah, Mario Kart 64 was awesome. Jeremy? I never cared for that, the way that that little center joystick yeah. thing oh, yeah. was. Um, but other than that, yeah, it was a solid system. And I believe, wasn't it the last system to use cartridges? Uh, as opposed to DVD, ROM, or yeah, or yeah or they whatever. had right. they had like the the miniature games that would actually still use cartridges. Like it was like the, for like Game Boy and shit. Yeah, but I'm talking console. Yeah, console. Yeah, yeah. the last one to use cartridges. Yeah, which didn't require because PlayStation, the first PlayStation, most of their games had required so much fucking load time. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I hated that. So uh, yeah, I I preferred the Nintendo 64. Okay. Uh, First next, one with four game ports, too. Or oh, yeah. Control ports, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah, big time. Yeah. 
Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Glitter. Way underrated. Underrated? Fuck yeah. How? Whoa. You can fuck somebody's shit up with glitter. <laughs> you sure can. Absolutely you can. No. That is way underrated. Oh. I'm going to put it in your vents. No. Yes. Don't do it. Mm-hmm. No, no. See, 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 it's underrated. No, glitter's way overrated, God damn it. Why? Because you can never get rid of That's it. That's why it's so great. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. I mean, just, like. Just get a handful of it when you go to work tomorrow. Oh. And just go up to, like, somebody and just go. And oh, throw yeah. it right in their fucking face. And then and the rest of the month. Yeah. Just, <laughs> you could, t- I mean, six showers and you're still going to have Fantastic. it all over you. Yes. Oh, fuck that. No, it's overrated as hell. Hate glitter. Jeremy? Okay, when I first read this, I guess I was under the assumption we were talking about Gary Glitter, um, <laughs> who is very overrated. Uh, if you don't know him, he's the uh, the guy who performed the song Rock and Roll Part 2. Oh. The, uh, you, you all know the song. Da-na-na. Hey! Da-na-na. That, that's Gary Glitter, and uh, he is uh, currently in a Thailand prison for uh, going over there repeatedly and fucking underage boys. Oh. So, um, yeah, he's uh, overrated. Wow. I'm going to say, you know, that and had the one fucking song. That's it. <laughs> and they still as, play it at hockey games, he's, baby. He's overrated as as a pervert and as a musician. Uh, I like to think that he was writing that song and Hay wasn't even supposed to be in there and somebody opened the door while he was fucking <laughs> there. Right. He's like getting a blowjob from a kid. Dun, 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 dun. Hey! <laughs> what are you doing here? They just cut the what are you right. doing here part out. If you notice, they don't play that song at sporting events anymore and that's why. Oh, they don't? Don't? Huh, they don't play huh. that hockey games? They shouldn't. <laughs> uh, most pretty well all NFL and college and and basketball games have stopped doing it. Yeah, oh, they, were, they, had, they had actually replaced it with the remix to Ignition. Oh. Remix to Ignition. Pissing on underage game. girls is fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, Gold Digger. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <clears throat> next, next one, overrated or underrated, Redheads. Way overrated. Really? Yeah, I know Steve Peters. Uh-huh. Uh, way overrated. Guy can't even do 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, no. Unless you ask him to do five. Right. <laughs> See, that's the only way he's doing 10. He can kill five. <laughs> so. um, yeah, they, they, underrated, baby. God, they, there's something There's something about red-headed people that I like the personalities. They're a little crazy, and they're funny. Demonic, demon gene. Man. And they steal fucking souls. So I'm going to go underrated. Jeremy? They usually have very good personalities because they have to because you just instinctively want to kick the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, See, now, a, a, a redhead woman uh-huh. I find very attractive. Same. Uh, providing she's not all freckle-faced and shit, in, oh. in which case that's just gross. Even if. Um, but uh, where was I going with this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it gets you kind of a inside track on being a TCU quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, other than that, uh, I can't see one advantage to it. Steal, so. Stealing souls, Jim. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You gotta have that advantage. Okay. Uh, last one. Overrated or underrated? Remote control vibrators. What are those? Oh, buddy. You need to get one. Give it to your wife. I don't want her fucking vibrating my asshole. <laughs> Why not? I think you'd like That's it. That's fucking gross. <laughs> no. My asshole already has a vibrator. I fart a lot. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah. Uh, I've been, I got one brewing right now. No. You haven't seen the videos of the people walking around like the, the grocery store and the guy, the husband, has the remote and the girl is wearing the vibrator? I think we're watching two different things. Here, <laughs> I think it's fucking hilarious. I watched a Sean Payton movie. <laughs> You watched a whole different kind of red notice. <laughs> yeah, I did, yes. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, it's it's underrated as hell. I think it's absolutely hilarious because they'll just push it at random times. Like she's going to reach for something way at the very top shelf, and he'll fucking push the button, and she'll just like fucking curl up into a little ball. It's fucking torture, and I love it. So underrated for me. Jeremy? This just reeks of laziness to me. <laughs> you can't reach down there <laughs> and flip a switch. <laughs> for God's sake. Yeah. You guys remember, Scotty, you probably don't. Derek, you probably do. When when they started putting remote controls on car stereos, 
Oh, yeah, yeah you, I do. You can't fucking reach <laughs> right there. It's right there. And then they started putting them, putting the controls on the steering wheels. But uh, I remember. Yeah, that's what this reminds me of. It's stupid. It's I ridiculous. remember being young enough to where, like, I used to have to turn the speed on my mom's vibrator. She'd just go uh-huh. faster. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd have to, all right. <laughs> now, it was it was hooked up to a stationary bike, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 And yeah. You, she only you had were th- the power source. She only had three speeds. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'll be darned. That was, that was in the early days when you were much more slender. Yeah. You got yeah. a lot more exercise that way. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, that is overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. How great of a package would that be for Peloton? <laughs> oh, it would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Did you, did you come to relax or to get off? <laughs> did you come to relax or did you relax to come? <laughs> <laughs> You ain't working no Kegels that way. I was watching some TikTok the other day, and some chick was talking about, I think she's on a Peloton teaching a class or something, and she's like, you got to do it. Sit this way. Get it. You got to feel it in your booty. Get it all in the booty. Take it in the booty. Oh, my God. (laughs) I was going to say, is that seat uh, shaped like a fist? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, it absolutely was. Uh, It sure was. That's one of the options for Peloton. You got to yeah. pay extra for it. Yeah. How much for the fist seat? <laughs> oh my god! My buddy went. To, I was with my, at the bar with my buddy one time, and I was like, "Oh, here, I saved you a seat." I put a beer bottle down. On it. <laughs> it's like there you go. Oh Jesus! Oddly enough, he was able to open it. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a twist off either. <laughs> that was a Corona. Oh shit! Okay. All right, now we got to move on to questions or preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions for these, you can send them to us at Laughing in the Sidelines on our Instagram. Uh, our link is in our bio. Uh, first question: Finish the song. Shake it like a blank. Baby that won't stop crying. <laughs> oh no! That's right. Uh, uh, little bastard's gonna have to shut up one way or another. That's true. Oh man, uh, I've got to uh, shake it like a Parkinson patient. I don't think you shake them, Scotty. No, they shake. Oh, okay. Yeah. Michael J. Fox. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, shake it like an unremarkable x-ray. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it like that? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> uh, just a minute. We got to see what we got here. Oh, that's unremarkable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, next question. What's the least impressive Boy Scout badge? The most fondled. Okay. <laughs> God, you love it when I do that. I, I, I tolerate it. That's the best. I'm slightly amused. I don't think you know what love is. Yep, you're turning this given, four weeks into three real quick. Given, given by what the things your wife says about you, you clearly don't know what love is. I do. How about you, Jeremy? Or uh, actually, uh, how about you, Derek? You want to go first? All right. Uh, least, inspre- in, least impressive Boy Scout badge? Yeah. Coin collecting. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Get some baseball cards, you fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, the snipe hunting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, get your snipe hunting badge. <laughs> I got several. Get I'm your, sure you do. Get your nematode badge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your cow tipping bag. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. Uh you know, uh, it's not real, right? What? Tipping over cows? Yeah. Yes, I know. Our Spanish baseball team name is the Cow Tippers. Right. Yeah. We don't tip over cows. Right? Well, we don't. <laughs> I do. <laughs> fuck those things. <laughs> I do it when they're awake, though. <laughs> Jeremy, don't fuck around. Hey, I broadside that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Vicious hit on a defenseless cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Uh, next question. I would gladly give money to someone on the street if they ask, can you spare some change so I can blank? Buy booze. Get fucked up. Yeah, absolutely. Be that's honest what I'm gonna, with me. That's what I'm going to do with it. Need money for booze. Okay. You got it, pal. My favorite thing I ever saw was uh, when I was in New York once, there was a guy on, the, it was a homeless guy, and he had a street sign, or a, a homeless guy sign. Card, cardboard. Yeah, a cardboard sign. And said, tell me off for a dollar. 
And that guy's had like one of those big blue fucking plastic jugs half full of fucking money. And he's earned every bit of oh, it. Oh, fuck. It was great. Nobody was telling him off. They were just paying him money to take his picture. He looked like Isaac Hayes. It was the best. <laughs> and for Christmas that year, my parents my, actually got a picture of him. Like they took a photo, with they had him pose for that, and then uh, blew it up, and that, it hung on my wall for years. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I mean, it's definitely worth his time by the time you get your camera open. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yep. Uh, anyways, what was it? Uh, I was doing something here. Uh, um, I would gladly give money to someone on the street if they ask, can you spare some change so I can blank? Pay for the Longhorn Network. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe you get three cameras with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice network. It really is. A lot more expensive than you'd think. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, shit. All right. Next question. What's the best way to keep a coworker from stealing your lunch? All right. I've done this before. Uh oh. Um, I got so mad. Back when I used to work in restaurants, we used to have to sit and eat in the back. And you would get like five minutes to eat a whole fucking meal. So I had ordered like a sandwich and some fries and I came back and like all my fries were gone. Like everybody was fucking eating my fries. I'm like, motherfucker. So I had the cook drop me some more fries and I go and I sit them back there and we're getting ready to have our pre-shift meeting or one of our meetings. And so I took every single French fry and put it in my mouth and then put it back in the basket. And then... (laughs) Uh, I went out to take care of one of my tables, come back, half my fries are gone. And so in our pre- in our meeting that we had, uh, they, all right, we need to push this, do this, do this. Anybody got anything? And I said, yeah. Uh, whoever ate half my fries, I put all of those in my mouth and then back <laughs> on my plate. So fuck you. <laughs> Nobody ever touched my shit again. There you go. That's what you do. Um, I think you. I think you have to have a decoy. <clears throat> I think you have to have like a, you know a bag lunch, but I think you need to put one of them like those like fart things in there mm-hmm. that whenever you, somebody opens it up, it just absolutely reeks the entire fucking place. And uh, I've smelled that before, and it doesn't smell like fart; it smells like straight asshole. So, uh, oh, that's where farts come from, Scotty. No, there that. is definitely a different smell from a fart and an asshole. And if it's asshole, it's it's not even poop; it's just asshole. So that's what I think you should do. Smell like this. Shut up. Oh, come I, on, come nope. on, just give it a whiff. Nope. Give it a whiff. Hey, you don't know if his finger smells like asshole. <laughs> <laughs> give it a little sniffy poo. Where's your sense of adventure, dude? Ah. It's Derek. His fingers smell worse than my wrists. No? That's yeah. not true. Yeah, it does. That is not true. 100%. Why, just because they've been inside you? No. Nope. <laughs> you sick fuck. Just because. Yeah. yeah. Just because. How about you, Jeremy? Okay, this takes some planning here. <laughs> and some investment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you're going to need some lead-lined uh, Tupperware. And some yellow cake uranium. (laughs) And because it can be packed into what looks like a yellow cake, put frosting on it just (laughs) as a nice touch. Uh, One way or the other, they won't do it again. (laughs) I can tell you that. Whether it be from just, you know, knowing not to take your lunch or, you know, acute radiation poisoning, uh, (laughs) they're not going to like it. Now, how you get your hands on weapons grade uranium that's on you. It <laughs> really is. But if you can do it, this will keep people from from uh, eating your lunch. Now, if you can afford this and have these kind of connections, chances are nobody's fucking with your lunch anyway. <laughs> but still, do it. <laughs> okay. Or just put your fries in your mouth. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last question. The perfect adventure includes a warrior, a wizard, and a blank. The Hamburglar. The Hamburglar? Absolutely. Yeah, he always That guy's always getting into some wacky adventures and yep. rubble, rubble, goddammit. Could you yeah. imagine if instead of Bilbo, they would have used him as their burglar? Oh, oh man. Oh, man. That, that would have been two movies shorter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah would have. Yeah. He'd have got <laughs> smoked by that dragon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, when, the, when all the dwarves came and ate all his fucking food, that place <laughs> full of burgers. You know what it is. <laughs> <coughs> yep. <coughs> All right. Uh, the perfect adventure includes a warrior, a wizard, and a bag of shrooms. If you don't believe me, ask Derek. <laughs> Eight yeah. grams of it. Yeah, about that. What about it? No, just about that. 
uh, fucking crazy, crazy night <laughs> or day, actually, or both. I don't know. I lost. I lost days. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, a a clerk from the DMV. <laughs> Fuck yes. Just somebody who bitches and is unhelpful <laughs> all the time, oh. wants to tack on charges. They want to go on some <sighs> big adventure, and I'm on my break. <laughs> they take a lot of breaks. They do take a lot of breaks there. Got to bear with them. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, then they don't get to go on break. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. All right, well, that was questions and preguntas. Now we get to move on to the newest segment of this show and we uh call it what's in the box but this week uh it is not in a box it is in a sack and it actually uh does not again have a a, i mean the only address that's not ours on here that i can see is uh in lexington kentucky so i don't know if that's where this is from or not but it specifically says Derek alders Ah, on it man you gotta open one of these no i'm i'm lexington kentucky yeah, that's Kentucky's what Kentucky's the home of that derby. That is true. A lot of ponytails there. There is. Mm. There is. But anyways, yeah, so I'm not sure who this is from. I don't know. But uh, it's very soft. It is very soft, so very that's why pillowy. it's in the sack. So what's in the sack, Derek? Uh, well, right now, I just like the sack. You just like the sack? Yeah. Okay. Well, I like to think it's somebody's inner thigh fat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gross. That would be nice and soft. That, that would, would be. be yeah. I have several pillows made of it. Yeah. And just in case it smells, let me open it this way. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, I like my favorite color. Oh, boy. We got a pink. It pink something. Pink. Yeah, what do we got here? There's got to be something in here. Oh, man. No. What is this? Okay. Uh, all right. Hmm. I don't think it has a name. I right? think I see where it's going. Let's see here. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> what? It's a fucking T-shirt with Tom, or not Tom Brady, I still own you. <laughs> oh. Nice. I got toilet paper. Let's see. Here. Aaron Rodgers. I still own you Aaron Rodgers oh, shirt. It says two ply, three ply. Three nice. ply? Three ply. Oh, man. You're not even oh, three. Oh, my goodness. You're not even ten ply there, bud. Oh, no. This is three ply. This is going to be soft on my asshole. <laughs> God, do you want to smell it when I'm done, Scotty? Nope. I'm good. God, you're going to see the streaks and everything. <laughs> I'm totally using this as fucking toilet paper. I'm uh, bringing it next week. Uh, oh, no. Don't show it. That's, oh, yeah. That's oh, disgusting. Yeah. I like to think Aaron Rodgers actually sent that. Uh, uh, there, I have a guess of who's who sent that, and I'm going to guess that these may it may what a be fucking from, coward will even put their name on it. Right? They're going to be a dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. If you do send us something, do Hang us a favor, put your name in it. Cushion here. Uh, I have a, I have a strange Somebody feeling. Bought that. That I, was a bad. I, I hope a, they made that. I have a strange feeling that they are not from Lexington, Kentucky. I have a feeling that those may be from our buddies up in so, Wisconsin. No, there's only two things that come from Wisconsin. Uh, oh yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, yeah. Fonzie. Uh huh. Yeah. Fonzie and assholes. <laughs> and that is uh, not the Fonz. And cheese curds. Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lenny and Squiggy. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out lots of shit. Lots of shit. Jeff Dahmer. Yeah. 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 yeah that's. Yeah. I bet that came from the ghost of Jeff that, Dahmer. That probably. rascal. <laughs> that he, was, he was a rascally <laughs> villain. He, he sure was. was. All right, guys. That always gets me <laughs> when I watch that show because I'm still not through watching. We're only like six episodes in. I forget that he was from Milwaukee, so that weird fucking Milwaukee accent, that yeah. Wisconsin accent, just makes him sound so non-threatening. I, I guess we go back to my place or something. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I just want to take some pictures. Yeah, I just want to take some photographs. Oh, God. Yeah, <sighs> I, I, that will be shit-stained when I bring it back. <laughs> I am not kidding. Uh, he just doesn't know how to have fun, guys. Oh, I have a blast. Oh, well, That, that is, is going to be the softest thing I've ever wiped my ass with. I, I believe it. <laughs> Gilded makes hand-quality TV. <laughs> yes, they do. The sad thing is they got the size they, right. They did. They, they, did they get make the, the right. worst fucking T-shirts. They do. But, uh, oh, well. Uh, I like this one. Uh, that's what's in the box. Thank you to uh, whoever sent that in. We sincerely do appreciate yeah, it. Two of the three of us really appreciate yeah, that. That's right. That is, uh... <laughs> uh, but now we get to move on to uh, a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft, and I fucking won. 
last week's draft, baby. Fucking bullshit. Our fucking listeners are douchebags. <laughs> Honestly, you <laughs> idiots. No, they they knew that Derek stealing the Pink Ranger from me, Amy Jo Johnson, was bullshit. And so bullshit. they voted for me. Yeah, you didn't even watch Power Rangers, you I know little I didn't. shit. Doesn't mean I wouldn't fuck her. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that does not take away from her hotness yeah. at all. Uh, so, yeah, but I ended up having to uh, go way, way low and uh, pick Britney Spears. I think that's what won me the fucking draft. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so this week, I get the championship picks, first time in a long time. Uh, Jeremy took second, so he gets the sandwich picks. And Derek came up uh, at the at the back of this particular contest. Ha! Yeah, that's a first. It I know, is. I know. I, I know. Uh, so he gets the first pick, and this week's draft is, is uh, going to be a fun one. I actually really like this one. This is going to be the least intimidating sports nicknames. It has to be college team or up, so you can't be, do high school. Um, it has to be college or professional of any kind. Uh, football, basketball, baseball, and uh, Derek, you get the first pick, so you, sir, are on the clock. Well, I think I'm going to win the draft with this fucking pick. Oh, my God. I mean, whenever you're playing a team and you're, like, the least intimidated, like, you know it's just going to be a bunch of fucking pussies that you don't have to worry about. Uh-huh. They're from Agnes Scott. They're called the Scotties. Oh. Yeah, that is the oh, wow. biggest... That I, that is the least intimidating thing I can fucking think of. For what it's worth, those dogs are fucking pricks. I I like to spell mine with a Y. Oh no, you can't do that. <laughs> so the Scotties, so you can do it every once, Scotty. Yeah. This is fucking America, man. Okay, I'm saying fuck a lot this episode. That's all yeah. right. It happens. Uh, Jeremy, you get the next one, dude. Well, for me, I've I've said it I think on the show before, but uh, the the Boston Red Sox, <laughs> okay, who are socks <laughs> <laughs> with an X. Oh, good <clears throat> lord! Here come socks. <laughs> Get out of their way, socks. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Scotty never takes them off. Um, I get two back-to-back. There's one that I am going to give a callback for because it was one of my favorites back whenever we did a similar draft. But I'm going to go with the Scottsdale Community College Fighting Artichokes. Okay. Yeah. Fucking fighting vegetables. It's ridiculous. Um, And then for my second pick, I got to go and find it real quick. Uh, where are they at? There they are. Uh, I actually kind of like this as a minor league baseball team that I kind of like the logo, but the Akron Rubber Ducks. Oh, you're doing minor league baseball? You can't do that. That man. is too. That's professional. They're all goofy names in minor league baseball. Uh, they count. They're professional. He ain't gonna win. I ain't gonna win. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, you get one. Uh, the Pepperdine Waves. Yeah. Waves. Yep. You got it. Wait, I just wonder, is it <laughs> water waves or is like just people waving? It's, it's hey, hey, we're here. Hey, we're here to hey. play you. Yep. Yeah. Probably going to lose. That's right. <laughs> waves. <laughs> uh, Derek, you get two. Uh, I am going to go with, let's go with the UC Santa Cruz banana slugs. Okay, mm-hmm. damn it. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. And just for uh, for fun, let's go with the uh, they're the the Central Dutch. All right, the Dutch. All right, from Central University. Yes, <laughs> they must all be uh, double. Look out! That's These right. wood mm-hmm. shoes are gonna fuck you up. <laughs> Hopefully they don't, uh, you know, do the double Dutch. That's the the special play they run. Is, why is that? I don't know. Uh, the Dutch rudder is that what you're getting? Is this, going? Yeah, it sounds like a Urban Dictionary type. The thing. Dutch rudder is, but the yeah. double Dutch I've never heard of. That's no, the double Dutch than, rudder. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? It's like a Dutch rudder, only extra chocolatey. <laughs> that's right. Uh, the uh, Southern Illinois Salukis. Yeah, that's a good one. That one's uh, Missouri if any, Valley. If anybody's ever seen a Saluki, they are more likely to piss themselves <laughs> than to hurt you. That's true. Aren't they kind of like a greyhound? They're just like a greyhound, only about half the size, and 
scared shitless all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen one without its tail between its legs. I believe it. Because I'm always trying to it's, fuck it's it. It's called tucking it forward. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Tuck it up. That's it's, right. It's the tuck front, rule. Front tucker. It, it, that's where the tuck rule came from. Okay. All right. I got it. Uh, so I get two. Uh, I'm going to take the UC Irvine Anteaters is my first pick. Okay. And then I'm going to take the good old Youngstown State Fuck you. Penguins, baby. <clears throat> the flightless cold bird coming to get you. All right. Jeremy, you get one. You know, it could be intimidating. What, what if we have ants for listeners? I don't you think, think they're not intimidated by ant eaters? We no. could have uncles too. That's uh-huh. true. I think some ants really like ant eaters. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> they're better than vibrating panties. I can tell you that. <laughs> they sure are. <laughs> you would love those vibrating panties. Is it? Is it my turn again? It mm-hmm. is your turn. Turn, Jeremy. Which pick is this for me? Uh, you got uh, this. You have a total of three, so this will be your fourth. So pick. this will be my fourth. I am going to go with. I don't think they go by this anymore. But it, for many, many years, the uh, University of Hawaii Rainbows. No, they are no longer called the Rainbows. They are now called the Rainbow Warriors. You want to go with what they are or what they were? Either way, they suck. Um, <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, eh. uh, I'll, just, I'll just pick on the Harvard Crimson. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. They're a color. <laughs> Not like bright dog dick red. <laughs> <laughs> That's Crimson. scarier. That, half, half, we're the half dog, what KU is. The I mean. dog dick red. That, yeah. that needs to be a team. Yeah. <laughs> just the dog dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and they just have bright, obnoxious red <laughs> uniforms with red lettering. <laughs> Chapstick on the and helmet. Lips, uh-huh. Lipstick on the helmet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Derek, you get your last two. I only, I only got two left. Yeah, you got the Scotties, the Slugs, and the Dutch. Oh, shit. Well, let's go with uh, the Earlham Hustlin' Quakers. Okay. <laughs> I love them Quakers, man. Yeah. Oh, well, have you ever seen one hustle? I mean, <laughs> that. I mean, yes, they are dedicated to, to Quakers. Oh. I mean, shit, that should have been what I went with. <laughs> the Hustlin' Quakers? <laughs> the 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 pin Quakers. If I was going to go Ivy League, I mean, yeah, that's that would true. Have been the team I should have gone with. Uh, that's true. A hustling Quaker. Yeah, because I mean, if I had to take a regular Quaker or a hustler, hustling Quaker, I'd go with the regular. <laughs> yeah, because they ain't got to be quick about it. Friends University that used to be their mascot, the Singing Quakers. Ooh, that's yeah. scary. Isn't that bad? That's very terrifying. Especially if they're off key, that would just be awful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is no such thing as an off key Quaker. <laughs> we all know that. That's oh, why yeah. I manage several of them. That's right. <laughs> Those are some of your your stars. Sure they are. Uh, yeah. All right, Derek, your last pick, dude. I don't know what this is. Okay. What is a gale? Uh, it's like a religious uh, it, person. No, it's a like a strong hurricane force wind. Oh, I don't want to go with that one then. Uh-uh. I don't want to go with a windy one. Uh, let's go this with... This fucking wind! Yeah. That's fucking wind! <laughs> She's their mascot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's terrifying. That is intimidating as yeah, hell. Yeah, I would throw in the towel. They yeah. just annoy you to death. <laughs> That's right. Oh, gosh. Sorry, I'm scrolling through. There's so many. There, There's a whole bunch. Uh, let's go with... Oh, that's so stupid. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with the – just because I think it's stupid, the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> That's you, fine. How do you We're, not – oh, no, guys that pack meat. They yeah. can't even fight you. They're busy packing meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good pick. I'm surprised it's not even on the, the list I'm looking at. But, yeah, I think that's a very, um, you know, non-intimidating mascot. Uh, Jeremy, your last pick. I, I can't believe that nobody's taking this hit as by far the weakest and least intimidating of all major team mascots, the Montreal Canadiens. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, hey, we, we come to play you, okay? Yeah, that's right. Uh, there's, a le- there's a less we're, intimidating we're, one. We're going we're gonna to kill you with courtesy, all right? Uh, mm-hmm. Canadians. Well, that was I, such a weak... I actually never watched Letter Kenny. I have. Yeah. 
And I could whip their ass. Yeah, that's right. All of them. I uh, I am gonna take the last pick, th- and I hate. I, ever since I was a little kid, I just never fucking understood it. Um, but I'm going to take the um, Stanford Cardinal. Hmm. The fucking tree. It's the dumbest fucking it well, thing. No, it's, they're not the Cardinals. They're the Cardinal, much like the Crimson, a shade of red. The shade of red? That's, is that what, that's no, what their the school bu- is. I'm thinking of the Buckeyes, aren't I? The Iowa State. Yeah, that's Ohio, a, that's Ohio a State. tree Ohio, seed. Ohio State Buckeyes. There's yeah. that. Yeah. That's, I'm mixing those up. Right. But yeah, the Cardinal. I thought it was a tree. Tweet, tweet. I'm a Cardinal. That, that is what's on their their insignia is a, I think it's a, a uh, oh, fuck. What's the big tree? Not the redwood, but the other oh, that was uh, sequoia oh, okay. tree, I believe, that grows near where Stanford, Stanford is. Stanford is? Yeah. Okay. So, um, California. But, yeah, they're just that color. Okay. Of cardinal red. Cardinal red. Good for you. Yeah. There's also Colors. the Toronto maple leaves. Yeah. yeah. There's another one. Yeah, there's the uh, Utah Jazz. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about that one. It's like, you guys don't even allow music in Salt Lake City. Jesus. It came, it came initially from New Orleans. New Orleans, yes. Yeah. But God. Uh, any other ones that you got? And they Miami do allow Dolphins. music. There's a Tabernacle Choir there. Dude, I don't know. I don't like Dolphins. I manage them. Dolphins are fucking just mean. Like the water. They'll no, fuck you. They will, they will fuck, fuck you, it. but they are like cruel animals. I saw a flipper <clears throat> take out a lot of crocodiles and sharks. Oh, yeah. Speaking of getting fucked, uh, the Austin PA governors. Oh, that, yeah. There you go. One. Yeah, that's a good one. <clears throat> um, they got a good law school there. Yeah. Matt yeah. Damon went there in the uh, Rainmaker. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, perfect. Uh, mm-hmm. Any of the other ones? What about any? Oh, like, the, the Vancouver Canucks, of course. Uh, oh, yeah. The Los Angeles Clippers. It's a boat, and it's not even a big boat. It's a shitty boat. Yeah, but it could have cannons on it. No, I don't think Maybe a clipper. Pirates. It, it if could. pirates took it over. The, that's true. The Century Wood Ducks. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I like one. that one. There's a lot of good minor league baseball teams that are in there. The the Lemoyne Owen Magicians. Oh, gotta love it. How did I fucking miss that? There's also the Orlando Magic. Oh, yeah, that's dumb. But that's that's refer- reference to Disney World, isn't it? Probably. I would assume Still so. whack. It is stupid. Do they have to say, even though they wear tank tops, do they have to say nothing on my sleeve? Yeah. Do Orlando <laughs> Magic? Yeah, they do. <laughs> okay. They sure do. New Orleans Pelicans. By rule, they have to say I it. don't think that's a bad one either. I mean, like, the Pelicans, that's an annoying fucking big bird. Uh, not intimidating. I think so. There's, look, look at one. They're Except for my buddy Brian. He's a pussy, and he's scared of birds. Yeah, that's true. So is my wife. Dude, uh, birds are just... New age dinosaurs. They are. There are some scary fucking birds out there. Ostriches. No. 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 Oh, I think those two things guys could fuck one. They could. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, okay. Well, that is our draft for this week. You can go and vote on our Facebook page, which ah, is shit. laughing on the sidelines. What you got another the, one? The terrapins. Oh the yeah. Turtles. <coughs> Isn't that a turtle? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. turtle. Fear the turtle. Oh, it nah, can snap good. a turtle. Yeah, it can. It can. It's bite not. You. <laughs> but it's what your, if it is? It's your friendly neighborhood turtle. Right. That's right. Teenage Mutant Ninja. <laughs> yeah. The turtle. It's it's literally like from the Looney Tunes cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so where's that slicker rabbit at today? <laughs> the monarchs, whether it's a king or a butterfly. Yeah. Right. Uh, there's tons. But anyways, yeah, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for your favorite list of the least intimidating sports uh, nicknames. And uh, by clicking on the corresponding emoji, so that way that'll determine who gets the championship for next week. Damn it. But now we get what? You got another one? The MIT engineers. Oh, yeah. That's a great one. Jesus. <clears throat> Fucking original you guys are. We don't like people, but we're <laughs> going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, you know, in the 1980s and early 1990s, the hair metal band Great White was uh, considered one of the monsters of rock and roll uh, 
probably best known for their smash hit Once Bitten, Twice Shy. Uh, but by the early 2000s, by the way, little side note, I actually saw Great White sell out the uh, Kansas Coliseum along with Tesla and Badlands. Mm. Um, but by the early 2000s, they were relegated to playing in uh, nightclubs in small cities. And uh, on February 20th of 2003, they were performing at the Station Nightclub in West Warwick, Rhode Island, which... Everybody knows that's where you go to rock. And uh, <laughs> it's no Delaware. Yeah, before the show, their tour manager, a guy named Daniel Bichel, apparently wanted to relive some of the glory days, so he decided to set up pyro on the stage. Guess where this is going? <laughs> uh, during their opening number, Bichel decided to ignite the pyro, and guess what? Shit started on fire. <laughs> Mostly the polyurethane uh, insulation very flammable they had actually the nightclub had been fined for that in the past but uh never really enforced uh maybe they should have um of course uh anytime that there's a fire in a crowded place there were 460 some people by the way in attendance and uh, everybody rushed to the front door despite the fact there being four points of exit everybody ran to the front door and uh between the uh, fire and the trampling exactly 100 people were killed while another 230 uh pretty severely <coughs> injured um and now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, rock on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, shit. That sucks. It sure does. It sure does. That's, that's hot in there. Okay. Yeah, it really sucks for Great White having to play in <laughs> West Warwick, Rhode Island. Yeah. yeah. When, at what point do you hang it up? Before that, I mean, you're a mus musician, Scotty. What's yeah, that? I was thinking of you as a musician yeah. first, and bull rider, uh -huh. and MMA cage fighter. Right. right. What's worse, playing a state fair and nightclub? Oh, oh state, state fair. fair. Yeah. That's, no, no. Uh, I'm nightclub. sorry. Nightclub yeah. is worse. Yeah. I mean, yeah that that's a small it, a state fair. At least there's a lot of people there, yeah. and you can get thousands. I mean, if you play a small rock club, you are really limited. You know, this place that Great White used to sell out arenas, mm -hmm. like big arenas, and Kansas now, Coliseum, baby. Now they are playing 400 capacity nightclubs. Yeah, there might be more people come mm -hmm. see us do a live show. You know, just there saying. wasn't. No, I can no, tell you that. Okay. Wrong. That's okay. Uh, anyways, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is: Would you rather get caught? Buying a 10-year-old booze or porn? Oh, like red-handed caught. Red-handed caught. By the by who? Who's catching you? The police? Cops. Parents? I think everything. I think everything. Cops, cops parents. Cops first. They notify was, the parents. It was a sting operation. It was. Yeah. <laughs> we were set up from the word go. Andy Milanakis was a plant. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with booze. Okay. And here's why. Because if I end up going to jail, it's very easy to misconstrue distributing child porn. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a child porn and child porn. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. easy to leave that uh yeah, out. That's right. And that will get you murdered. It sure will. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have to go with booze. Plus, I mean, if he gets one of his child friends some booze he might get a little child puss so there you go. that's what he wants to do oh if <laughs> derek oh had lost God. his breath sorry uh so that is why i'm gonna go with booze <laughs> derek is playing his wife in fantasy football and we we're recording this on monday night and uh he is on thin ice right now Anyways, uh, I think I am also going to go booze. Uh, I think uh, I think that's a little bit more socially acceptable, actually, than you porn. Got, you got a curious <laughs> kid, though. I get it. It's a ten-year-old. Jesus well, Christ! It if could it be was a, a magazine. If it was mean? a fourteen-year-old, it's like okay, all right, I understand that a little bit more. Um, but a ten-year-old drunk is—I don't think that's as uncommon as it used to be. If you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna get the little guy booze. Uh, maybe it'll shut him up. So that's what I'm going with. How about you, Jeremy? <clears throat> oh, porn all day long, <laughs> without a doubt. One, I'm probably going to the porn store anyway. <laughs> so it's really not an in, 
inconvenience for me at all. Gotta good get old that um, ass. Good right. Old, <laughs> good old Vegas video, baby. But uh no, um one uh of course, a 10-year-old is naturally going to be curious about sex and sex-related stuff. Mm. So I could at least try and explain that away. Two, I'm not entirely sure it's a crime. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> whereas the booze, I know for a fact, is. And it's one thing, I mean, it's one thing to buy it for, like, high school kids yeah. who are having a party out in the country somewhere. But for a 10-year-old... To what? Go home and color, and, <laughs> and he just can't deal with his day. He's just he, he lets a, the crayons fly, though, man. I mean, <laughs> creates I mean, magic. That's uh, the. I think you would have more explaining to do <laughs> if you're helping a ten year old with his alcohol problem. <laughs> if you're facilitating that, then you know, maybe helping a curious preteen you know learn a little about sex yeah and and not having to show him firsthand right you know <laughs> that's that's at least like your one saving grace there at least when he wanted to see sex i didn't show him in person well i, I guess in all the chris hansen stuff they show up with booze yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah yeah, that's that's to, the other to, thing. What are you lubing this kid up for? Yeah. <laughs> why, why why are you trying to you know uh, what, uh, what what do they call what are you trying to weaken his judgment for? <laughs> just want to take some uh, pictures. Uh, I, I was just wanting to take some photographs. <laughs> One of the kids he was with was like fourteen. Yeah, that's yeah. fucked up. And didn't weren't they able? Wasn't he able to tell the cops that that was his boyfriend? Yeah, they, yeah. they didn't even check because they're like, no, nah, they're gay. We don't. Uh -huh. that. oh, that's so fucked up. Oh shit! He was, he was a miscreant. Yeah, he really was. He a little rascal. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, another excellent episode in the books. Um, thank you, guys, both of you, very, very much. Uh, do you have any shows coming up, Derek? Uh, not public. Not public. Yes. You got a, you got a private show. Yes, dancing for a ten year old. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> There's gonna be booze. There's uh, gonna be porn. That's right. They're just gonna take some photographs. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be lo lots of photographs, lots of Polaroids, and uh, unremarkable. Yeah, yeah. Sure. By, by the time That's it right. takes them that long to get their phone out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. Are you are you at all worried about being able to project into the microphone with those unremarkable lungs? <laughs> I think they'd like it better if I didn't. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Well guys, thank you very much. I sincerely do appreciate all of you listeners uh supporting the show. Uh, we really do appreciate that. Again, you can send us these packages for um, our new segment, What's in the Box. You can send them to our uh, P.O. Box. Our link uh, for that address is in our bio. Um, but yeah, Scotty a glitter bomb. Don't do that. Don't fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. He loves glitter. It, if you do, you can send it to one one. Nah, I don't even fucking think about it. Yeah, you can send it to the P.O. Box. It'll still end It'll up at one one. Yeah, one. It's shut yeah. up. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, we sincerely do appreciate you guys uh, liking and sharing our TikToks. That uh, tends to be how we grow the show. Um, yeah, but sincerely do appreciate it. And as always, we always like to say, if you like us, guys, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope your dad cuts himself shaving his balls because he was a cheap ass <laughs> and bought a dude pruner instead of a lawnmower 4.0. <laughs> if you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Uh, use the code SIDELINES for 20% off of your shipping. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing at us. We will see y'all later. Take care.